Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, June 13th, 2017. It's currently 8.53 a.m. It is warm and muggy out there this morning with temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 70s over the northern interior, upper 70s to lower 80s for the rest of the region with a southwesterly westerly wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Notice the dew points that are much higher than yesterday in the mid to upper 60s, even a few lower 70s in southern New Jersey. That means we're dealing with a far more humid air mass for today. So your heat index is going to be a bit higher. And as a result, we have heat advisories out for the Philadelphia Metro and around the New York City Metro this morning for this afternoon and evening. This hot and humid air mass, though, has seen its final day. Because after tonight, the cold front will move through. It will drop from the south with some showers and thunderstorms this evening to the overnight hours. And then we cool off significantly by tomorrow, and especially for the end of the week with a marine air mass in place. So let's dive into this forecast. On this surface map, you can see high pressure way out here over the western Atlantic still remains in control. We have a weak trough that's lingering over the region, producing some southern clouds. Otherwise, it is a tranquil weather pattern this morning with humid air on the way and temperatures skyrocketing into the lower to mid 90s in your urban areas and mid to upper 80s along the immediate coast on Long Island. This cold front will be moving through this evening and it will be driven by this high pressure system that's up here in Ontario that will be shifting towards Quebec and forcing this cold front south with showers and thunderstorms this evening and tonight. On the radar, pretty much high and dry right now, but you can see those showers and thunderstorms starting to percolate over here, over the eastern Great Lakes and around the St. Lawrence River Valley. On the infrared satellite picture, you see for the most part we have scattered cloud cover to clear skies over much of the region. Our cold front here will be pressing south, and as it does so, it will produce those showers and thunderstorms this evening. But as you can see, a lot of the lifting is moving west to east. It's not dropping south, and that's going to be an important factor, and that's why we're not going to see widespread showers and thunderstorms. They're going to be more scattered in nature as we move on through this evening. So for today, generally, high pressure will be in control with muggy conditions, hazy skies. We're going to see showers and thunderstorms developing towards the evening rush hour, and these thunderstorms are going to be capable of some heavy downpours frequent lightning, small hail, and wind gusts over 40 miles per hour. There is an isolated threat for a few severe thunderstorms, but I think the key word there is isolated. High temperatures again will rise into the mid-80s on Long Island, upper 80s to lower 90s along the immediate coast, and lower to mid-90s in your urban areas and the Delaware River Valley. Heat index is going to be above 95 degrees in many locations, so make sure you have plenty of water and that you are staying hydrated so you don't get any heat-related illnesses. And of course, keep an eye on the elderly and those kids. Overnight tonight, those showers and thunderstorms drop south, and by tomorrow morning, a few lingering showers, followed by a mix of sun and clouds as you head towards the sunrise. Low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. High temperatures, though, for tomorrow, with a mix of sun and clouds, an isolated shower possible. Well, the high temperature is going to be much cooler. We're talking about mid to upper 70s on Long Island, upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and lower to mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. Much cooler than today. For Thursday, it's even more cooler. High pressure is going to be building south. Still a threat for an isolated shower or two, but for the most part, most locations will have a mix of sun and clouds. Get a load of these temperatures, though, on Thursday. Lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Highs in the mid to upper 60s on Long Island, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast, and mid 70s in the Delaware River Valley. That is roughly about 15 to 20 degrees colder than today. Possibly even a few locations as low as 25 degrees colder, especially on Long Island. So that is some very cool air building into the region. On Friday, pretty much the same thing. That frontal boundary will be stalled out to the west, We'll have an easterly wind in place with a mix of sun and clouds. Can't rule out an isolated shower. Low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. High temperatures in the mid to upper 60s on Long Island, upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast, and mid 70s in the Delaware River Valley and in some urban locations. On Saturday, that warm front will start to push through the region with scattered showers expected. Warmer conditions as well. 
lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the lower to mid 70s on Long Island, and upper 70s to lower 80s for the rest of the region. On Sunday, that warm front will be well north and east of the region, while a cold front approaches from the, from the west. Look for isolated showers and thunderstorms, otherwise a muggy day with a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures on Sunday will range from the mid to upper 60s for lows, a few lower 70s and a few urban areas. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 70s on Long Island, upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Monday, that cold front will move through with more scattered showers and thunderstorms. A few of these thunderstorms could be severe in the afternoon and evening hours. Temperatures on Monday will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows, so you know it's going to be rather muggy out there. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 70s on Long Island, upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. And on Tuesday, high pressure will build in after a few morning showers. Look for scattered clouds by the afternoon. Temperatures will range from the mid 60s for lows and upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. Pretty much where we should be for this time of year. That is the forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. Please use caution this afternoon. Drink plenty of water. Try to stay indoors. And if you see someone who doesn't quite look right, maybe look a little bit flushed and a little bit tired, get them some medical help because they might be dealing with some heat illnesses like heat stroke or, or something of that nature. So definitely keep an eye on the people around you and your loved ones. Thank you as always and stay safe out there.